Hey there, fixers. So today we're gonna replace a stud. This one right here, it, got bro it broke. So we're gonna replace it. So first, you're gonna want to remove the tire because that's how you know when it breaks or not. This one, they over tighten it, so it broke. So what you want to do is um, take the tire out first, then you want to go to the back and take these two 17 millimeter bolts right there that one right here and this one right here down right there so let's do that let's take those out and then we keep on going okay so after you remove the two 17s remember one's right there and one is right there you don't want to remove the brake pads or nothing like that just remove the two 17s and grab the caliper for the caliper and grab the caliper and just put it up and you're gonna want to put it right here up there right there just get it out of the way and now we're gonna stick a uh, two 12 uh, millimeter screws right here well bolts right here one right here one right here and we're gonna hit it with the gun so let's do that okay so we're gonna put the these are the ones that I use and I just put them right here one right here and the other one right here you could use an electric impact gun or a, or a sacco with a bench uh with a ratchet sorry uh, it's whatever you have in hand i have this so this is what i'm gonna use so you just go like this you push them in and it comes out you just grab it now all right now you want to grab a hammer and twist this one over here and you're gonna have a little lip right here you see this little lip right here right there just hammer it back a little bit now grab the bolt i mean the stud and just hit the bad stud out In. This is the new start. I'm gonna put it in. This is what I use to put it in. It's they sell it. It's Napon sells it or uh, Matco. It's for stud puller, so you could it could be easier, so you don't strip or nothing like that. But if you don't have this, you could use a like a bigger bolt. Or big or not. Alright, you can use something like this if you have a bigger one. You just put it in here and then just hit it with the gun. Put the nut, the, the nut, and just hit it to the with the gun until you hear it's like solid. That's one way to do it, or if not, you could, like I said, you could buy one like this and snap on and Maco or Mac tools have it or you could go to like um, Home Depot and buy it as well Some, sometimes they have it there so this is mine so you just put it right here you thread this in You grab the gun and you just hit it. You can look in the back to see if it's if it's good. You shouldn't have a space right there. You shouldn't have a space. So it's good. Right there. I don't have a space. It's flat. 
to the back of the bearing. So now you just take it out. That's how you put a new one. And now what you want to do is put the rotor back in. So you put the rotor back in. Right there. You've got the caliper. What you want to do is put the bolts for the caliper back on. The two of them, there's, remember there's one right here and the other one is up there. You can't see it that much, but it's right there. So let's put those right now and make sure to tighten them. Remember it's a 17 millimeter socket or wrench, whatever you're using. Okay then guys, so remember we're gonna put these two bolts back in and there's one right here and the other one is over here all right remember tighten them because you don't want them to fall and if that falls if the caliper is gonna it could fall as well and damage your rim and probably you won't have brakes so always remember to tighten the bolts so after you tighten the bolts, you just put the tire back on. This is the one that we change. So put the tire back on, tighten it as well, and you're done. So that's how you do it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys.